Yes, ladies and gents, it is time for the obligatory setup video. Now, it's been a long time since I last did one of these, and it's the first time I've done it on this channel. And as you saw from the opening cinematics, there is a lot of ground to cover, so I'm not gonna be spending a massive amount of time talking about the individual things, but we'll start with the setup on the desk and then move on to the stuff behind me on the shelves on the wall, so you guys can have a quick look at that as well. But it's basically gonna be point at it, tell you what it is, move on, because there's a lot of stuff to get through and if you want to know what any of it is i'll put the main items down in the description below so you can check them out in further detail yourself let's get into it so starting on this end of the desk we have my desk uh, we have a light controller which is for the lightsaber on the wall some basic stuff in there my phone there it's an iphone 7 plus we have my monitor with the lovely winging it on there and we have my Razer keyboard, Razer mouse, custom Geralt Kermorin uh, mouse mat, my Sharpie holder, my picture of uh, my fiance Isabel who I've covered up for privacy reasons of course, a big old pen pot, and my lovely white light and witcher symbol which is now completely killed by the big white light. We have my TV which has got my PSM background on it currently. Underneath the desk here we have my computer, all of the specs of which are also in the description beside my bin which I probably won't put in the description because it's a bin um, I cannot remember what's in this myself I've had it for nearly four or five years now so it's probably old for most of you but for what I use it for it works fine I rarely ever have these little LED lights on by the way um, but for today I uh, had them on because it shows off the inside just a little bit more and there uh, we just have some wires and storage coming up on the desk we have obviously the PlayStation sitting there ready for use, the PS2 on top of that, my printer. Coming up we have my PlayStation symbol lights, also surrounded by all of my little pin badges that I've got from the loot crates, or at least the ones that have turned up this year, sat on there, some other random bits and pieces. Then we have a selection of boxes from all the things that I had, so that's a loot crate one, that's the PlayStation pin badge, um, the 4G internet, another loot crate thing, and the thing from Isabel. Um, my iPhone box and then at the end there we have all the games play it PS4 3 and 2 and some DS games um, Up on the wall up here. We have my travel box um, that I use to just carry my PlayStation around when I go from house to house We have some posters on the wall Just some general PlayStation type bits and things like that some clothes up there too Behind me however, we come on to this thing which is a massive uh, shelving unit Which is not actually one shelving unit, but three shelving units all from Ikea um, basically you can see how there's a split down here and across there so this is one that is one and then that's one laying down I think they're called a calyx uh, unit um, they come from Ikea they're not that expensive but what I did is bought three of them join them together put one on top to have this kind of wall of uh, shelving units um, now as I get out of breath let's move on to the next section which is talking about these um, we have a little compartment here um, which is my DIY kind of bits parts so you got all kinds of paints in there and all different kinds of random bits and pieces Then we have actually the tool section where we've got my soldering iron which you would have seen in the lightsaber videos The drill that you would have also seen and other bits and pieces too The rest of the stuff on here as I get out of breath is um, Just storage really um, as just clothes and things like that going behind here um, Nothing that interesting Coming up to here, we have once again just a little collectible section. So I've got a couple of things on the loot crate, something for my 21st birthday at the back there. Um, my Nuka Kona bottle that I made. Um, coming across, we have this section, which is just a good old spiky light. Um, my PlayStation Platinum Trophy that I 3D printed and painted uh, many, many years ago is here. Um, here is just a bit of a stationary part, uh, just some paper and bits and pieces. Coming up. We have my Witcher sign symbols thing that I made. It's just basically a cardboard construction. Just a, a few signs, make it look cool. That's directly below uh, my shelf where my Witcher Bastiary is being kept, the beastery, whatever you want to call it. Basically, this is a thing that someone's made online that I've then uh, got purchased and then stuck into this uh, sort of leather bound diary. We have a drone on here and a medal and a little, little, little Lego Siri. It was apparently collapsed since last time I stuck her up. Next to that we have the Witcher books um, that I'm still going to read at some point. I promise Isabel who bought them for me. We have my Witcher Steel Sword, the printed one. Um, 
with some lovely runes engraved on it and below that we have the sheath that I made for it to go into as well but I have it out because you want to be able to see the whole blade. Next to that we have a loot crate poster background and below that we have the Assassin's Creed Syndicate um, uh, hidden blade, only the uh, one they sell in the shop so plastic that sort of thing, nothing too exciting. Above that, I don't even know how I'll hold my breath here. Above that we have all the PlayStation coasters that you would have seen in the original PlayStation unboxing video. These are just attached on there because I wanted just kind of an extra PlayStation type thing and I really didn't have a good use for them, so that's where they are. In the corner we have the PlayStation box up there, then we have my tripod, a spare lightsaber that I didn't ever do anything with. Maybe I'll make a video on it one day, probably not because it's just a wooden thing, so it's not that interesting. Beside that we have my Eat Sleep PlayStation Repeat thing that was also in the PlayStation unboxing. We have the original Jack and Dexter Precursor Legacy map uh, mounted onto a wooden board and on the wall. Next to that we have the original uh, homemade lightsaber and the 3D printed lightsaber which doesn't have power yet going to it but will do soon. We also have the Blades of Chaos um, which I will make a video about soon as well as the Leviathan. Oh Ben! <laughs> This is why you shouldn't be trying to say all this in one breath. Also, above the Blaze of Chaos, we have the Leviathan Axe, um, which I'm also gonna make a video about too. That's from the new series of God of War, the new uh, version of it. Next to that, we have a cheap plastic Luke's lightsaber. That just came from a toy shop and was some leftover. Then we have a bed, which isn't that interesting. And then we have my lovely old chair, which has served me for many, many years now. Also from Ikea, I can't remember the name of it. Um, but I do know that the armrests that are on it now are actually wooden armrests that I made because the original plastic ones snapped. So that's how old that chair is, years and years and years old. Much older than any of this or the desk or anything else. Which, if you're wondering by the way, I made this desk uh, many uh, t years ago now as well as all this shelving that goes around. It's all made out of plywood apart from the metal legs that goes under there. And um, yeah, I made it all myself so you won't be able to buy that anywhere but you can at least admire mine anyway. <sighs> wow. <laughs> I didn't know I could say so much in such a short amount of time. Don't really out of breath now. But um, yeah, that is my sub video. Hopefully you guys um, enjoyed it. I managed to get this under eight minutes to go around everything. So <sighs> that's pretty good. Um, obviously the main video will be longer because it's got all the stuff at the beginning and everything else. But at least me walking around my room in real time it's been eight minutes, so that's pretty good. I thought it might be taking about 20, but um, yeah, we got it down pretty good and we got everything in it that we need to get in it. Ah, so now, anyway, whilst I go and collapse on the floor, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope it gives you a bit of an insight into what I use daily and just what's in my room in general. It's always in the background, so I know some people may be interested in seeing um, what it is. Um, a lot of the stuff you've seen in videos already and all the videos are things like the lightsabers and things like that. I'll put in the description down below already along with the list of um, the stuff that I feel it's worth um, listing. Um, a lot of this is old stuff anyway so you probably won't be able to get it anymore but you know I'll give it my best shot. I'll try and find as many links as I can. Anyway thank you guys for watching today's video. If you'd like to drop a like and subscribe to the channel of course if you want to see more and well that is depending on whether or not I am now going to die because um, I feel like I will because I am not very fit. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.